give that any bearing. And they were live. And they were live, so there could have been timing issues. Again, this wasn't being polished. I don't think they were live. Do do you know for sure? I don't know for sure, but like... They they only taped one live and then like two taped episodes. Right, right. And this was near the beginning of the month, and maybe the timing because may I would I would be curious to find out if this was live. All right, you know what? You know what I mean? Can, I'll so see if I can find out. Uh, I don't go like how do you how can you? Sorry, guy. We have the internet. We have the internet. You have you have resources to check on this? Yes, the internet. The internet has everything. We have, okay. we have the technology. So I, I'm curious. <laughs> I, I'm curious. I'm curious to see how that goes. Um, I got uh, okay. Well, the next episode that came up, and I don't know if it was the next week's or the week before, in my autoplay, they were not at the Manhattan Center. So oh. I don't know if that's any bearing on anything. And also, I had a completely different commentary team. So, oh, is there? A, there was isn't there? There's one random week where they end up in doing Poughkeepsie. Or it was taped. It was taped. It was taped the week before. So if the if the match if the show was live, okay, fine. Shit happens. This was taped. Hmm. <laughs> I I'm figure still it okay out. with it. I'm still okay with it. I you, have... get, you put out the premise of having that match end during commercial. Yo, how many times is John Roden on the show behind you, Riz? A lot. <laughs> like, it scares <laughs> a me a lot. He... I think every I... time I'm on here doing this, he's on there a lot. I'm trying to see which belt he's got. Is he I'm, I'm going to say this, and it, it might, be, might be controversial. Uh-oh. If I'm if I'm watching a match for a good match, a very good match, a match that has pulled me in, has made me invested, has made me interested, especially when I like both these characters, and I come back from break and the match is <clears throat> over, I'm gonna be upset. Okay. Because this is not the era of the WWE app where there's a second screen experience no. going on. No. This is not this is not this a picture era. This was the era of Anything can happen in the WWE. That's right. No, it wasn't. Well, they were trying to get to that point. They were, they trying. were trying to get there, but but I don't think you can do this now. No, no, you, you no, couldn't you do can't. this. Now, no. now, you know what will be interesting? This, this is, if you ended a match during a picture-in-picture break. This is a, this is That a, would be interesting. This is an artifact of that era. This is this is an example of shitty taped wrestling placement. Also, I, I you know I, I we didn't have Final Cut and Premiere in 1993. Like there, I'm sure there was something of a a a, sh- a live to tape element as well, and maybe the timing didn't work out. I mean, but what they I mean, it. I mean Zeke, I've never heard of a wrestling match going long. Have you? Oh. <laughs> Oof! Dang. I can't can't relate. Nope, nope, nope. We, relate. Had, George, we had three you know. segments on this show of Rick Martel replacing Raw Girls. <laughs> Spoiler <laughs> alert: you can take out one of those segments and finish the match on time. I thought we only had two of them, but okay. Um, okay. But this was the running this was the running thread of the show: is Rick Martel wanting to be a ring girl? Apparently. Um, when, when was this? What year? 1993. March 1993. Where was Riz on March 1993? Oh no, I'm not. I'm not thinking about that. I, I'm thinking about this I is am like now. that. I am now. I mean, I was young, what? but like, wasn't this like right near the time Martel left? I can't recall. Ooh, no, he was still there for at least another year because he did okay. the he did that the match with Razor when he won. They both like tied in the Intercontinental Title Battle Royal. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. He, okay. he was in because WWE. All I, all until I remember 95. is because okay, it was ninety five because, because I remember listening to uh other like I, I remember like other people talking about how in Japan he was a totally different guy than he was in the nineties. And I and he with Mr. Perfect he looked amazing he looked pretty good damn good in this. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So yeah, I mean it was a Mr. Perfect match on on Raw, right? Yeah. Raw. So yeah, fucking Raw. Um. So so Edwin, uh, uh Professor Edwin, uh, and, uh, and Professor, I do apologize for swearing. He's he's not a professor. 
You don't have to apologize. Professor uh, Edwin um, uh, alludes to this thing about like kind of the face turn for a long time. You know, bad guy, and and then I'm somebody I I you know not lived through. Yeah, I lived through this era actually. Was this uh, the slap? Was this the, was this after the Heenan slap? Uh, well, yeah, it was definitely after the Heenan slap. Oh yeah, he came to help. I think he teamed with Macho Man yep. or helped him. I with think Survivor Heenan series. was already in at Nitro. That could be. That could be at that uh, point in '93. Um, well, I don't think there was a Nitro yet. He said it was in '94, wasn't it? Um, um either way, he, I, he didn't. He didn't left WWE in '93. I'm trying to see when it was. Okay. Okay. So he could have been. Yeah. Oh, okay. Been, no. No. He left at the end of '90. No. No. This is leading into. Oh, that's right. Because this is before WrestleMania yeah, nine, where yeah. he was on the commentary team. Yep. He and Ryan the Camel backwards. Um, yep. So he was supposed to be on the. He was supposed to be with the Vestal Virgins. Yes, he was. Yeah, but you know who man. took that role? Macho Man. The Macho Man, Randy Savage. Yeah. In the grapes. Uh. Anyways. Yeah. Uh. But no. But but I got to see the the kind of turn. You know. Um. Uh, like I remember having the Mister Perfect action figure. And saying you're with the good guy locker room now. Uh, so, <laughs> and, unfortunately, the Rob Bartlett experiment was still going on here. Oh boy! <laughs> oh and boy! He, even just in this one match, you could see he was getting real tired of Rob Bartlett. Yeah, <laughs> he was getting real tired of him. Well, whatever came up, Rob, next... Rob Bartlett actually sang the entire theme song to Gilligan's Island and got it wrong. And he started talking about Elvis and his leg shaking going into the 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 first break, and I'm like, "What the hell is that about?" Well, I mean, Sorg, you know, if there's any character wrestler in WWE who is associated with Elvis, it's definitely either the model or Mr. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah Honky was long gone at this point. Yeah, I he think was very so, long gone at this point. Uh, by the way, just just not not for nothing, but it just popped in my head. Just Jock Sampson repeatedly yelling, "I wrestled the Honky Tonk Man." multiple times on, on Friday night. Um, that's his claim to fame. Uh, so <laughs> let's see. Spring 93, uh, uh, Potter was a junior in college and just turned 21, same as Zeke is now. Wow. Wow. Uh, I was six. <laughs> I was six years yes, old. Yes, Potter, but were you a tag team champion? <laughs> oh, yeah. Also yeah, very true. Yeah, I, <laughs> I, was, I was getting ready to hold my first wrestling birthday party because we watched WrestleMania 9 for my birthday. Mm. Oh, we love that. I was uh, turning 